Timberlake. Tucked away in a tiny corner of North America is a land full of beauty, mystery, and unique attractions that feel like they're right out of a vivid dream. I'm not kidding. You and I have a fun journey ahead as we head downstream and check out the Pacific Northwest attractions. you do walk through the river on the way here you're all wet we sure had a rocky beginning to 2020 COVID-19 forest fires politics bad news and it keeps coming into my ears and I'm sure it comes into your ears as well are you ready to escape to another season and go into fall I am let's break the barrier and go in there but before I break the barrier, I gotta turn off this bad emotion that's going through my head right now with all the bad news and everything. Be patient, I gotta turn it off. Now isn't that better? That was only a quick fix, but we gotta hurry up and get in there before the emotions come back. Let's get going. Right now, we are in summer, but behind me is the barrier to fall. Are you ready to break that barrier and go in the fall? Once we go in there, we cannot come back. But would you really want to? Once fall is here, we could finally move on. We. We. We are going to break the barrier. And make life a whole lot easier. Bye, Summer. You were sure a pain in the butt. Now I'm a happy camper. Their people like to camp. Isn't this more relaxing than worrying about a paycheck? If an entire year was tucked inside of a tiny clock, then autumn would be the magic hour. Check out this majestic redwood tree. Did you know these giant trees only grow in California and Oregon? And not only that, a lot of them live over 2,000 years old. And they can grow over 300 feet tall. And you won't believe where they get their water. They actually get their water from fog. What happens is the fog rolls in and hangs around the branches up there. And then the redwood trees drink all the fog up. I'm not kidding. Kind of hard to believe, isn't it? Hey, don't feel bad. I had a hard time believing it too. Redwood trees are the tallest trees in the entire world. And not only that, a lot of these trees have bark that is over one foot thick. That is nature's way to protect them from forest fires. Aren't you glad you're not a tree? You might live a long time, but you'd have to drink fog all the time. I wouldn't want to do that. You know, redwood trees aren't as boring as how they look. They are actually very friendly. If you've seen one redwood tree, you've seen them all, right? Wrong! But with five taps on the bark, you can even fool Lewis and Clark. Don't run away yet. And don't be frightened by what you see. Ladies, Ladies and, gentlemen, and gentlemen, the moment you've been waiting for, for, for the nature's main, main attraction, attraction, the happy, happy Redwood, Redwood Tree. tree. Hey, 
Thanks for coming out of your bark, Mr. Tree. Now go back and drink some more fog. He sure was a happy tree, but he was kind of funny looking, wasn't he? Hey, you want to see the forest version of frosting on the cake? And here it is, the beautiful ferns all over the place. a big redwood tree. I mean, who's gonna tangle with the redwood tree? You know, they must be pretty good friends that hang out all day together. Look how happy they are together. Aren't they a good couple? We must stop. And you know why? Because right behind me is the barrier of winter. We can't even get close to that right now. Do you realize the dangers we would face if we go in there? We can't even get close to it. But on the first day of winter of December 21st, 2020, we can go and break that. Just not now. We don't want to break it anyway. Look at all the rain in there. You got wet enough. Walk into the Walk river on the way here. Right here. Hey, you want to see the river that leads to my cabin? Just so you know, there's a lot of trout in there. Oh wow, I found an amazing attraction that you just won't believe. The amazing hollow redwood tree. Do you know what happens to somebody when they interact with the hollow redwood tree? You're about to find out. The hollow redwood tree is the only place where the echo of darkness and the ocean meet and actually fall in love with each other. But I want to warn you, once we go in there, we can't come back. This hollow tree is a one-way ticket. Don't get confused. Don't wonder, because our drama will make you forget that we were even here. Brace yourself. Now isn't that a beautiful view? With the hollow redwood tree, you never know where it's going to put you, which is why it put us right here. And the problem with that, we're further away from my cabin now, which means we have to hike all the way back. And that redwood tree was only a one-way ticket. We can't go back through it. Well, the main thing is the barrier of fall is broken. Now we can finally enjoy the holidays. In fact, I'm gonna go back to my cabin, light a fire, and eat warm chocolate chip cookies next to my dog. But I do have some important words before we head up the river. Don't pinch yourself and wake up. Follow your dreams. They know the way. You sure were a blast, and I had a great time with you. You know, I would love to visit with you longer. I thought to hike back to my cabin before it gets dark. There's a lot of bears around here. Anyway, I'll talk to you again on my next show. As you and I head downstream and visit the Pacific Northwest attractions. Goodbye. <laughs>